Hey guys, I just have three games here for you, just with Kijiki. Not, uh, not the best games in the world, but uh, they just highlight sort of the force that is Kijiki. Right now I'm playing against Olivia. So I have a pretty fantastic draw. I mean, Mana Crypt, uh, Tuk Tuk, Strip Mine. This is, uh, this is ideal. It's not the god hand, but uh, it certainly does the trick. Draw into another land, which I'm not too excited to see, but that's okay. He drops the first turn artifact, and then I, uh, instead of dropping Balakut here, I just decide to apply the pressure directly. So Tuk Tuk, just to kill his little bauble there. So he drops like a vampire here that gets counters when it attacks or something. When I, when I see that, uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy that it's just a vampire tribal. Um, so I draw another land, unfortunately. And I gave some thought into destroying one of his lands here, but uh, at the end of the day, I'm not too, too afraid of vampire tribal. So I decide to put Valakut here so I can get profit out of it later if I need to. Attacks, okay. Um, so I have Nick Nykthos in my hand, and my long-term plan at this point, before I draw this card, is to get Nullspile Dragon out and uh, draw an entirely new hand. Um, so I want to get uh, Shrine to Nykthos online, then I draw Tyrant to Discord, and then my plan quickly changes. So I delay him, I put uh, Kiki Jiki out here, make a copy of Tuk Tuk. I probably should have done that to block, but at this point I didn't really care. Um, so he drops something that gives death touch, which is pretty good for Olivia, it just makes her a machine gun. Attacks. And then this is where you really get to see um, why I have 7 drop Tyrant of Discord in my deck. Um, so I play Shrine here, get some Devotion, I'm going to drop Tyrant, so I kill his bigger creature there and a land, and I Tyrant again, and just like almost wipe his entire board. I kill his artifact and another land, now he has two, two permanents. Doesn't attack. I think this is bugged. I think it actually did kill Stormkirk Noble, or Captain rather, and uh, he only had Relic Free Tower out. Um, so I copy Tyrant again. He says good game. Yeah, I, th I think this is bugged, but you get the gist. Alright, next game. So I'm against Smog 2006. Uh, this was a little bit of a better game. Um, he goes first, but I have Gamble in my hand, so I'm pretty uh, happy with that. I use Gamble to get uh, Mana Crypt. Now, I wasn't too happy throwing away Gauntlet of Might, because that would have been a pretty strong second turn play. But, uh, <laughs> but I'm even more happy that I didn't have to discard Mana Crypt. So I drop down Mana Crypt, I put down Greaves, as they go. I forgot to mention, he's playing Geth, but I don't believe he ever casts him. So, with the battlefield clear, I put down Koth, and uh, just start hammering him with uh, Mountain. He scries. I'm more than happy to see Course of Portal here. I love Course of Portal, as you know from all my videos. Uh, so I drop it, and just like that, Mono Red has a card that draws them cards. I'm attack here with a mountain. Drop Soul Ring. Um, 
I'm not too worried about that. I do have Sting Scourger in my hand. Um, I love Sting Scourger, by the way, and the Echo Cost. I find that uh, I'm more than happy to pay it uh, when I have Kiki Jiki sitting in the command zone or even on the battlefield. Or especially on the battlefield, I should say. Um, but then I then I draw a Karn here. Um, so my play is pretty straightforward. I mean, it's it's it couldn't be more clear what the play is. Drop Karn, take away his creature, get value at a Koth. I decide not to ultimate him because the ultimate isn't isn't huge for Commander. I really like his minus two ability, which is what I was going to use next turn. Uh, but he uses a Vampire Hex Mage and kills my Koth. I'm pretty happy he went for Koth instead of Karn. Um, I actually think that might have been a misplay. Maybe he was afraid of uh, the ultimate, or more likely he was afraid of what I could drop with the extra three men in my hand. Um, but I do think that was a misplay. Uh, now, now I can just nail his hand for another card instead of just doing four damage to him. And a commander... I find Commander, the game isn't necessarily the damage you do to your opponent, it's 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 wrestling for control. Um, I mean, sometimes you squeak out damage, but, but a lot of time it's just um, who can deny their opponent's resources the most or fastest, and who can generate resources the fastest. Um, so by getting by getting Koth out, he's sort of limited my fuel, but that's not my problem right now. And he's also limited the amount of damage I do to him. But this is making Karn, um, well, when I first played it, it got one card, so it was a one for one. And now this turn, it's going to become a two for one, or uh, one for two. So that means Karn takes out two of his cards, and I'm only using one of mine. Um, Course of Portal, I believe at this point, has drawn me two additional cards. So that's another card that, it, like, I've used one card to get two cards. Um, Right now, you're going to see another one of my favorite cards that uh, is pure card advantage, and this changes my strategy to. I was originally going to play Worm Coil, and sorry, I should have mentioned. Oh, here, I'll just show you right here. Okay, so I draw a Vandal Blast here, and he has three artifacts on the battlefield. He also has Mind Stone tapped, which I'm pretty happy to see. Um, so the first thing I do is for my land. Get a land, and uh, I do I do Vandal Blast. So it's five mana, and I'm getting rid of three of his cards, three of his artifacts. So this card is one for three, um, paying its value back many times over. Well, exactly three times over. Um, and then I'm plussing Karn to get rid of Slum Reaper. This is sort of like a Fleshbag Marauder for four. Um, now, I was thinking of playing Kiki Jiki earlier, but this is a mono black deck, and I found over the last year um, a lot of people, instead of playing like direct kill spells, people are crazy over sack uh, creatures and spells now. Um, so I wanted to sort of put out uh, Worm Coil Engine, but uh, the, the play there was just to Carnum and Vandal Blast, because that turn. I got rid of four of his cards in total, and uh, and I only used one of mine. So he puts Vampire Hex Mage down with Reanimate after he tutored for it. So that's uh, uh, I guess one one card that he's using to get rid of one of mine. It was a good play. Um, I tell him that in the comments. Uh, like when he when he demonic tutored, I thought, oh boy, I hope he doesn't get Reanimate. <laughs> and sure enough, he did. Um, so it, it was a good play on his part. Okay, so I don't draw Fire Diamond here. Uh, replay sort of bugged, but I'll just go through the steps on, on exactly what happens. So I drop Worm Coil, I put Grooves on it, I attack. Uh, he puts down Merciless Executioner, I'm pretty happy to see that, just because um, it's giving me two creatures, so now if he has any more sac effects, uh, I have protection against it. So I draw some cards with the portal. 
Yeah, so right here, instead of Fire Diamond, I believe I drew a sword. Okay, so, yeah, so as you see, I tap three mana there, I put down a sword, and then I equip it to my Death Touch guy. I attack, I untap my lands, uh, and then I play Blood Moon. Yeah, so, okay, so I had Blood Moon out, I had a sword on my guy. I also had Grease on the guy. Uh, unfortunately, the play the play is bugged, but um, but with only three black mana and two colorless, he uh, he packs it in. Um, it, was, it was a pretty good game, I guess. Okay, so the last replay. The last replay is not very exciting, but I'm going to show it. All right, so who am I playing? Um, here I have a borderline keepable hand. Uh, I'm playing Hannah Wan, the Rune Sage, uh, which is another Vampire Tribal deck. Two Vampire Tribal decks in one day. Um, but I'm going first, so I just keep it. And the draw Sting Scourger here, which I'm pretty happy to see. I'm always happy to see that guy. He does first turn nothing. I take the time to drop down Thornbite Staff, which is a card that, unfortunately, I don't get to use in this game, but, uh, usually comes in handy. So you just drop some vampire. I put down mana vault here. This is pretty cool. Uh, Hypnotic Spectre, which isn't a vampire, but uh, it is definitely a threat. It's one of those cards that uh, that if it hits, it pays back for itself. Uh, you gotta get rid of it. I mean, w when you put it down, it becomes a one-for-one one in that if you don't get rid of it, uh, you're gonna lose a card. Uh, so you might as well just kill it with a kill spell. Of course, if you have a blocker or something, then it doesn't matter. But uh, here, I uh, get around that by playing my Sting Scourger, putting it back to his hand, play my Sword of Feast and Famine, equip it, I had to do it this turn instead of next turn because I wouldn't have enough mana. Because my plan is to pay the upkeep cost. Uh, the nice thing about Sword and Feast and Famine is... Um, well, this was my plan. He concedes here, but... I was going to pay for uh, Sword and Feast and Famine. And then... Uh, drop my land. Here, I was just thinking he would go for Hypnotic Spectre again. Attack, untap, uh, Kiki-Jiki, copy, and then Hypnotic Spectre back to his... Excuse me, back to his hand. Um... And then I would have been able to uh, to do it to his Bloodgast as well um, when Thornbite Staff untapped Gigi Jiggy. But I don't know if he saw the combo or what. He just says, "Good game." That's it. Those are those. Are